How are you? I'm Ed Duke. I'm the uh, owner of Southern Crappy Rods. I sell crappy fishing rods to uh, guys all over the country, you know, and a lot in the south. It's a real popular rod in the south. And we're going to go over a little bit today as to uh, what's the best way to catch fish year round. Uh, if you are a 365 day a year crappy fisherman, first thing you can look at my setup. I've got eight 14 foot rods that I've got set up in a spider rig. This is what you call a spider rig set up here. Uh, my personal best is my personal best is uh, 14 footers. A lot of people like 16 footers. A lot of people like 12 footers. But the reason you want to get at least a longer rod is you want to stay away from the boat. So as you're catching the fish before you get to it, it works real well in shallow water. You know, deep water, not quite as important, but shallow water, you really need it. Now, I've got the rod holders. These are adjustable rod holders, so if the fish are deeper. Today we're using half ounce weights. If they're deeper and you got current, you may want to go to a one ounce weight. And these are adjustable rod holders that will let you lift your rods out of the water a little bit to keep your same distance out of the water. Next, you got to have a depth finder. When you're tight lining like this, you got to have a depth finder, as you can see. And mine has a GPS on one side, so I can see where I'm at, especially if you're fishing in a river, that you can follow a river channel because fish are world-renowned for staying on the edge of the river. And then my depth finder, I always keep my depth finder on manual because the best way to find fish is to play with it, learn how to use it, and then learn what a fish looks like on the screen. But that's pretty well our setup, and uh, we're just gonna see if we can catch some fish, and we're gonna show you how we rig these things. All right, people come into my shop all the time, and they're just getting into the business. They want to crack a fish. They ask me, what is the best way for me to catch fish? And the first thing I'm going to tell you is tight lining. You know, your multiple spider rigging system set out away from the boat, the 14 foot rods. And that way, if you watch, you can keep your bait in the strike zone longer. You mark fish on that depth finder at eight fish, eight foot deep, you uh, fish eight foot deep. It's the most effective way to fish 365 days a year. This is the basic rig. I'll show you two right quick. You know, we're fishing today. Is this just a plain hook? There's more fish caught off a plain minnow and a hook than anywhere in the country year round. And I come loose, I've got a little split shot right here, and I got an egg sinker that freeze. And what that does is when I drop it in the water, when I get a bite, it's pulling against the line and it's not having to carry the weight because the weight's swinging free, you can detect the bite better. Here's another rig. And this rig right here has a jig on it. It's just a little old tube jig with a little road runner head and it gives it a little bit of action. It's tipped with a minna. When I'm tight lining, I always tip with minnas. Now, you may not need it sometimes, but it, ne it never hurts. And that's my basic rig. Same thing again. My egg sinker swings free. And that way, I can feel that lightest bite. And just a little insight on what a good rod is, is you have to have backbone to hold good fish. But these Southern Crappy Rods, which they're fantastic rods, the last three feet is the sensitive because you can actually detect that slightest little bite that you're going to get the majority of the year. It's not going to be like it is in April where they just hammer that thing and just knock them down. Sometimes you just got the easiest little old bite that barely tickles the end of the rod. And... Uh, 
You have to know then's the time to get them. That's a pretty good fish right there. Oh yeah. Nice white fish. But, and that's what that done, it just, you know, they, they're they not biting real hard. It's just that little tickle. Sometimes the line will even go sideways. But that's what you look for. A good rod, it's got a sensitive tip and it's a rod back, backbone. I want to talk about how we're moving around in this weather. It's a little bit windy, but one thing that is imperative is to have a good trolling motor. Most successful anglers are using the autopilot. It frees your hands up. You can control your speed to just a tiny tick of a mile per hour to faster when you gotta move faster. You can speed it up and it'll control the wind instead of a uh, regular power drive where you have to bump. One, two, three, four, five. You can just keep this autopilot on and it'll keep you in the strike zone longer. Your hands are free. You want to turn, you just mash the pedal. Uh, your power drives do work. A lot of people like them. My personal preference, I like the autopilot because it frees my hands more for me to fish. That's a pretty good one there. Oh, oh that's a good little old hammer there now. Big boy, hold on. Folks, I tell you, tight lining is about as simple as you can get to catch fish all year long. It's a fun way to fish, easy to do. You just got to have the right equipment and the know how to do it. And just remember, if you need anything, my name is Ed Duke. Just give me a call. And if any way I can help you, especially selling rods, I'll fix you up. Thank you.